All right. Little Leaders and Bold Women in Black History by Vashti Harrison. Now we're going to talk about Gwen Ifill. She was born in 1955 and she died a few years ago in 2016. And that's a picture of her. Gwen was born in New York City but grew up all over the East Coast. Her father, a Caribbean immigrant, was a traveling minister, so the family moved with him. One thing that remained a family tradition, no matter where they lived, was to sit around the television every evening to watch the news. Gwen's interest in the way the world worked grew from there. She knew from the age of nine that she wanted to be a journalist. In college, Gwen studied communications, and immediately after graduation, she began her a career in journalism. She moved her way up from small newspapers to prestigious publications such as the Washington Post and the New York Times, and then transitioned into television. She made a reputation for herself as a savvy and analytical journalist. In 1999, she began to work at PBS on two political programs. Her standing in the world of politics earned her the respected position of moderator for the vice presidential debate during the 2004 elections, making her the first ever black woman to do so. She went on to moderate the same debate during the 2008 election and the Democratic primary debate of 2016. In 2013, still working for PBS, Gwen got a promotion that would make history. She and her colleague, Judy Woodruff, were hired as anchors of NewsHour, making them the first all-female network news team and making Gwen the first African-American female anchor of a network news program. Many looked to Gwen as the ultimate role model in journalism, a trailblazer in her field. She was a true professional and full of integrity and fairness. And a lot of people are missing her right now because she was a really good journalist.